Greg, could we get the, the latest squad news? The latest squad news, uh, injury-wise, uh, we're, we're looking pretty good. Obviously, there's a, there's a few good bumps and bruises from the weekend. There always is after a Munster game, but uh, Nathan White looks like he'll be uh, running around today, hopefully. Um, we'll see how that goes. And same with Owen O'Malley. Um, we're hoping that he's um, full fitness. And uh, apart from that, at the moment, things look good, so fingers crossed. Good selection headache, then. Yes, we've uh, talked to the doctor about uh, dropping off some Panadols and um, and get into the thick of it and uh, go from there. So, what about the uh, the scrum on on Saturday night and all, all that carry on the symbolizing of the props, Greg? What, what's your thoughts on that? Well, I think uh, you know there's there's varying opinions on it. Um, from my perspective, you want to there's a couple of key laws that you want to stick to: head above the hips, bindings, and. Uh, and to, to provide us a, uh, a platform to to, uh, to attack off, and it is a good platform to attack off when it's good. The referee had some issues; he put them in the bin, and I think maybe um, it's, it's not a bad thing if he's if he doesn't know, put them in the bin. Um, but we were we were actually worried about it before the game. We mentioned it to him, and um, obviously um, guys don't want to be collapsing the scrum on purpose because you know it's, it's a safety issue, and they want to be playing this game for a long time. So. Uh, yeah, there's certainly, uh, hopefully we don't have to, the public and, and the, the TV cameras don't have to put up with that again. Do you think you were penalised unfairly some of the time? Uh, there was a couple that uh, I think Rossi lost his feet underneath him. He was going forward and then uh, didn't catch his feet up. It was unfortunate, um, but there was, I definitely think there was a couple of things that, uh, you know, you, you could argue, and I'm sure um, the Munster boys are looking at it and probably arguing it as well. So we can, we'll just move on from it, I think, and... and look at the tape and, and uh, there'll be people out there who can look at themselves and get their own opinions and then that's what rug the beauty about rugby I suppose everyone has their own opinions but we certainly have ours. Do you think it's an area the Cardiff Blues will be targeting this weekend? Oh uh, uh, yeah I mean they've got one of the best lucid props in the world that's that's the guy with number one on his jersey just in case and and also the reserve lucid if, uh, he may start as well John Yap and he's a big powerful man he's um He's actually picked up tidies off the ground and lifted them up and, and sent them backwards. So we're in no, uh, no doubts it's going to be tough up front, whether it's a scrum or a mauling or a breakdown. So. Is there a general layer of confidence around the squad given that things are going very well for you guys? I think there's, a, there's, an, there's an airiness going around. It's Heineken Cup week. It's, uh, it's Cardiff on paper. They've got the, the Welsh have just won Six Nations. They've got some, some key players. You know, Jamie Roberts, Casey Lalo, they've got some powerful guys out, out in the backs. Loose forwards, you know, Warburton's not there, but they've got um, Martin Williamson. Uh, the list goes on, and uh, so there's a there's an area of I think there's belief there, but there's also cautiousness and respect to what we're or what we're come up against, you know. And I suppose there's you know a lot of um, you know obviously Leinster strong favourites going into this weekend's game, but besides home advantage as well. Like, do you think that you know Leinster fans probably as well need to be more cautious because they, they just seem to be massive expectancy there that you know that Leinster are going to easily book a place in the semi-finals. Yeah, I totally agree. And and and, and sometimes you know there's been you know you just never know on a, on a day. And the weather report is uh, not flash for the weekend either. Well, that doesn't mean to say people don't turn up, but. Uh, we, we certainly we, we want the, the fans to be there to be supporters of everything and uh, and be a, be there till the end. You know, it's, it'll be a tough one. Yeah, definitely.